Okay, here's our Super Rat Smoothie Factorial Nova Part 2. Here's the raw data. We're going to run an ANOVA, as you recall. The first step to running an ANOVA, that's where all the work is, is to find out what the bracket term values are from your one-way ANOVA that you should already be familiar with. The, the first column here is bracket terms. So that's, that's where all the work is. That's where you got to do all your adding and squaring and dividing, that kind of stuff. So, But with a two-way ANOVA, we use a different table. It is very related to the first table with some changes to incorporate the fact that there's more than one IV. So we're just going to go ahead and follow this table to figure out our bracket terms. But before we do that, I want to graph the means of each of the little subgroups. So let's go back to our data about the push-ups. There it is. So we need the means of factor A at all three levels. So there's level one, level two, level three. They're right, there's A1, small smoothie, A1, large smoothie. And then there's the same for A2, right? That's the 10 milligrams, small and large. And the last one is 20 milligrams, small and large. So let's go ahead and figure out what the means are of each of these little columns. Remember, the mean is the king of statistics. That's why it wears a crown. <laughs> so the average number of push-ups for the no milligrams small smoothie was 15. And all the way across. So I'm just taking this one at random. A2, B2. So that means they had, this group had 10 milligrams of the drug and the large smoothie. And that was their average. You can see the differences down here right off the bat. So you know they're going to be significant. But let's keep pushing on. So there's our means. We're going to go ahead and graph them. We need to graph all the levels of A. That's A1, A2, A3 at B1. So it's going to be a separate line. The next line is going to be all levels of A at B2. So it's, that's going to be a separate line. We're going to have two separate lines on a graph. So we put in our graph. Try to make the, the scale here, the top number, whatever the largest uh, mean is up here. Make it a little bit bigger so it'll fit. And your y-axis is always going to be your DV. And in our case, it's going to be the number of rat push-ups. And then along the bottom here, the x-axis... This is where we're, we're going to put our different factor levels of the A. So this is the, the dosage of the drug down here. So A1, B1, A1, B2. So we're going to have two separate lines. So the red dot represents A1 at B1, right? That's 15. The green dot is A1 at B2. So the red dot is small smoothie. Green dot is large smoothie. Let's go to the next one. So this is 10 milligram guys at low and high smoothies. Big, I'm sorry, large and small smoothies. We're going to go ahead and graph those. Again, the red dot is the small smoothie. Green dot is the large smoothie. And then the last one, the 20 mil milligram group, you'll notice that the small smoothie went down while the large smoothie went up. So we're going to go ahead and connect those. The red line represents what the small smoothie has been doing DV-wise across the three different levels of the serum. They started out stronger, but the more serum they got, the, the fewer push-ups they were doing. You know, just, just by the small smoothie group. And here's the large smoothie group, right? It, it went down first, but then after the second one, after the, the third dose, the 20 milligrams, they went sky high. You'll notice that they cross. That's an important concept in this. That's why we're graphing them first. We have interaction between the IVs, right? Interaction. So if you graph these things and it and they cross, or they look like they're going to cross, if you extended it and it looked like they were going to cross, then, then you have interaction between your IVs. So now we're going to check the main effect of A. In other words, was there a significant change just the fact between they were getting 0, 10, or 20 milligrams. And how we do that is we take the average of A at each level of B. So right there's A1 going up and down. The average between 15 and 10 roughly is 12 and a half. We're going to do that at A2 and A3. Right There's the average. And there's lastly, there's the average. And we're going to go ahead and connect those, make a line. 
And what this is telling us is that, yes, there is a main effect A because this is not a straight line. In other words, if this was a straight horizontal line across, that means there was no change. Right? I can, you can kind of see that, yeah? So we do have a main effect A. Now let's see if there was any kind of effect strictly from the size of the smoothie. Right? That's main effect B. What we're going to do is we're going to check the means of B1 at all levels of A and the means of B2 at all levels of A. And this one's a little bit different. It, it kind of can be kind of confusing. But here's the means of B1. Okay. So B1's the red line. The first mean is right here is 15. And the second one is right at A2 is around 13. And the last one down here is about 6. So we're going to take the average of B1, add them all together, divide by 3. We're going to get roughly 11.33. We're going to repeat the process with B2. Okay. So at A1, B2 is roughly 10. And at A2, it's roughly, I don't know, 4. And then the last one is way up there. It's real close to 20, right? So just with the B2, the green line, 10, 4, 20. We're going to add them all together. Divide by 3. What do you know? We get the exact same number. So what that means is, since the means of B1 and the means of B2 are relatively the same, there is no main effect of B. In other words, the size of the smoothie didn't have much to do by themselves on how many push-ups these rats could do. So there's yes main effect A, no main effect B, and there is interaction because we saw the cross of the means. And whenever you have interaction, you do not look at the main effects, you look at the simple effects. Okay? That's the important thing, simple effects whenever you have interaction. And that's going to be the end of part two, so stay tuned for part three. MGZ out.